Well, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the format of these Barna vlogs going downhill. It went from me running around with the camera to now I'm just sitting in front of my webcam here at the man cave computer talking to you guys. But uh, it's been a rough week. I haven't put out a video, so I figured I'd let all you guys know. If you haven't been following me on social networks over on my Twitter feed, um, you probably have like no idea why I'm not posting videos. So I figured since most of you guys are over on YouTube, I'll just make a video to tell you guys what's going on. So just like the title would suggest on this video, I have pneumonia. Pneumonia is some kind of nasty, like, lung infection. Something went horribly wrong. I think I got, like, bronchitis or something. And I didn't go to the doctor in time, and it ended up manifesting itself into pneumonia. But let me, uh, let me take a step back. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what my week was like. So this all started, I think, on Monday. So on Monday, I went to work, and I had just nothing. It was just a scratchy throat and kind of a little congested nose. And I was like, I think I'm just coming down with a cold. And, uh, so... I came home that night and it got rapidly worse. Like by the time I went to bed, my throat was so sore I couldn't even like swallow. My nose was hurting. My ears were hurting a little bit. But uh, Tuesday I woke up and my ears were like full of fluid and my throat was super sore. I couldn't even drink water uh, because it was so sore and uh, and couldn't couldn't like really eat much or anything like that. And I was just thinking, okay, so I call in sick to work and uh, then uh, Wednesday rolls around. And uh, Wednesday, I'm in rough shape. I'm in really, really rough shape. So I go to the doctor, set up an appointment, and I go in to see the doctor. And he listens to my lungs, and he says, it sounds like you have uh, a little bit of pneumonia in your, uh, in your left lung. So he gives me a, these really strong antibiotics. I can't remember what the hell they were called. Something 500 milligrams, 10-day series. But he said it's a really strong, broad-spectrum antibiotic. So I'm thinking, okay, I got this thing like This is fine. So I go home, take, start taking the antibiotic. Um, that night I took the second dose of the antibiotic and I went to sleep. Well, I woke up at 4 a.m. on Thursday and, uh, I was in a major panic. I couldn't breathe. I was coughing uncontrollably. I went into the bathroom and I was gagging and I couldn't get any air in my lungs. And I literally almost passed out. I had to sit on the, sit on the bathroom floor, um, because I was afraid I was going to fall. I was getting that tunnel vision. So, um, I finally collected myself after a little while. I used the albuterol inhaler that they gave me and, uh. Uh, I knew I knew I was in bad shape at that point. So anyways, I went to the emergency room and the emergency room checked me out. And then the pneumonia was in both lungs. It wasn't just in one lung anymore. And uh, and it sounded like it was pretty bad. So they gave me they inhaled steroids. They injected steroids. They injected magnesium. They gave me fluids. Um, they monitored me for a while. And then they sent me home with uh, prednisone and codeine cough syrup and said, yeah, this is this is going to take a while. Just keep taking your antibiotics and you'll be all right. So. I didn't, I didn't have any sleep for like days. And uh, so finally last night, I did get some sleep uh, a little bit, like three hours. I was able to lay down at a slight angle. I ha I've had to be trying to sleep sitting up because as soon as I lay down, I'd be screwed. So I'm taking all this medicine. But the problem is the prednisone and the steroids that they gave me wire me so much. Even though I look like I'm exhausted right now, I couldn't go to sleep if I tried. So I'm doing this vlog. I should be resting, but I can't. I literally cannot go to sleep. Because they gave me so many of these damn steroids and they just hop you up. I feel like I can go outside and flip a car over even though I look, look like garbage. Um, but the good news is today I feel a lot better. It's Friday. My voice is still a little screwed up. And I'm still hacking up a lung. I mean, I'm still, I still do this like hacking and gagging thing that, we're, that I'm going to edit out of the vlog the 80,000 times it's probably already happened. Uh, but it's, it's rough, man. It is rough to watch. My wife can't even watch me without gagging herself. Cause you're literally, it's like, you're just working and working and working at it to get like a little tiny bit of stuff out of your lungs. And you got to repeat that about 4,000 times to get everything out of there. So, uh, so anyways, the pneumonia is probably going to stick with me for a little while. Even when I'm done with the antibiotics, they said it could take like up to a month or something for it to like completely a hundred percent clear up and like have my lungs clear. But, uh, I'm not, I, I just, I just want to get the infection dealt with. Um, pneumonia is not something you want to screw around with. I had it once when I was a kid. It can kill you. It honestly can. Uh, so I was really glad that I went to the emergency room because, uh, you know, I, I might've made it through the night. I might've been okay. I might've passed out on the floor. I don't know, but it, it wasn't worth the risk. So that's why I haven't made a video in a while guys, because I've just been on the mend and I'm really trying hard to get myself together before Sunday. Cause we're doing a big surprise birthday party for my son is fourth four he's four years old now but we're celebrating his birthday a week later and uh it's a big lego theme thing we've been planning for a long time so so i want to get better for that so i'm going to be resting through the weekend i'm not going to be producing any videos other than this it was just an easy one i'm sitting down from a webcam i was already sitting here playing on the computer so i figured i'd give you guys an update um uh, but uh 
anyways, yeah, I got I got pneumonia and it sucks. But uh, you know, life throws you curveballs sometimes. But for all you guys out there that are wondering uh, where the channel's going, where the direction of the channel's going, uh, I have been doing a little bit of 3D printing. So as you can see here, I have a Halo energy pistol printed all as one piece. It's not assembled. It's just printed as one piece. And this was printed with Color Fab XT material, a new material that they just sent me. Uh, and it's awesome because it has a melting point at 260 C, which means it bridges really well when it has to. And bridging is like, let me give you an example here. So this is bridging. So I'm sorry, it doesn't look like a very good print. I did this really fast. But, uh, but you see how it prints across there with no support underneath it? You get a little bit of stringing, but it's not bad. Like normally if you printed this in a lesser material, you'd get like a bow because it would, before it cooled, it would sink down. But because it melts at 260, which is a lot higher than most of the PLA, which is like starts at 190, um, you can go across great distances. Like check this out. So I did this one first. This was my test subject. So then we went a little bit bigger. You can see it's still, other than a couple stringies under there, it's still straight across, dead flat across the top. And then I took it to the absolute extreme. <laughs> and then, oh, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> Edit it out. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Whew. <clears throat> Anyways, where were we? So here's the big brick. And, uh, oh, man, my eyes are watered. Whew. <sighs> Time for a cough drop. Mmm, halls. Well, I think you're a lifesaver. I just need to stop biting them and swallowing them. Um, but <laughs> this one was the extreme size, right? That is a big brick. And it's still, other than just a couple little stringies underneath, which you could file or sand off, it's completely straight. I was, I was pretty amazed by that, that it could actually bridge that huge of a gap. I've never seen that with any other material. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I printed out the blaster. This, this turned out really good. It needs some finishing on it because uh, my Ultimaker, I need to tension the belts. The belt somehow got a little loose on my Ultimaker too. Um, and it's giving me a little variation on the Z axis, but not too bad. I mean, it's still, it's still relatively really smooth. And, uh, and I thought it was cool. I printed that as one piece. I mean, the fact that the inlays and everything on it look really sharp and good. I was, I was pretty amazed by that, but I'm also going to be printing another one of these is uh, a sliced piece where everything's sliced perfectly and you put it, glue it together at the end and then everything will have smooth edges. You won't have to do any finishing on it. So, and I'll do a comparison video. That'll be my next 3d video that you guys see. And then uh, my friend Rob Tyler, he's working on uh, the Halo helmet finishing it. He got the 24 printed parts assembled, and it's all bonded and sanded and everything. And now we're going to get to the point where we can uh, cast it and actually, like, pour and cast another one from the original 3D printed bottle. It's going to be a cool video, guys. It will. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but when you try to do cool stuff and you coordinate with other people, it does take time. Um, so uh, I think that's probably going to wrap it up because uh, just talking like this, really gets my lungs going again but i mean they've got me on a laundry list of medications i'm taking uh let's see i'm taking the antibiotic i'm taking uh prednisone which is some steroid that i have to take i'm taking albuterol every two three hours which is like this puff inhaler thing uh that opens up your lungs i'm also taking uh codeine robitussin syrup that's supposed to be like an expectorant or whatever and like relax you so you can get more stuff up i mean the whole the whole plan is to get the stuff out of my lungs which is unpleasant as hell. But, you know, I just stand in a hot shower and just basically like almost puke my guts out and pass out for like a half an hour. And I do that about every four hours all day long. And I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I feel like progress is being made today. I feel a thousand percent better than I did yesterday and a thousand percent better than the day before. So I, I figure by Sunday, I'll probably be feeling pretty good. Other than my lungs will probably be a little tortured and sore from all the coughing and everything. But uh, I did tech talk yesterday. Um, with Jay, if you didn't catch that, go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, but uh, that that was even rough. Just doing just doing the hour and a half, it drained me. When I was done with the show, I felt really sick again. I had to go take another hot shower and cough a bunch more stuff up. Um, it really drained me. So I'm really really glad I did the show though, because I've I haven't done the show with him the two weeks prior, and uh, it was good and it took my mind off things, but pneumonia wears you down like doing even the smallest little things just beat you to hell up you know i think this vlog this vlog's not going to do anything i'm just sitting here talking to the camera here for like 10 minutes so uh but uh but yeah you can't you can't just like get up and go like i tried to play with my kid a little bit this morning and i like i did like two laps chasing him like around the sofa and i was already getting lightheaded just because you know i don't have the you know i don't feel like i have that oxygen saturation i did when i you know my lungs weren't full of garbage um, 
But anyways, I'm not going to make it a habit of making vlogs like this where I'm just talking about, yeah, I'm sick, woe is me and shit. But uh, I just want you guys to know why I wasn't making videos. That was that was the the bottom line for creating this vlog. And uh, I'm sorry I'm not running around with the camera and doing funny stuff and a bunch of fancy editing. But like I said, I don't want to spend a bunch of time on the computer. Uh, most of what you guys see me over on social networks, like I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter like 24-7 right now since I can't sleep. So if you want to come talk to me on Twitter, come over there. I'm at Barnacles on Twitter and I just sit in bed basically with my iPad and my surface and just alternate between them and, and respond to, to comments and type what I think are somewhat amusing, funny things. And because I'm highly medicated most of the time when I take my codeine syrup, I probably make some pretty funny tweets. You might want to check those out, <laughs> but, uh, I'm uh, going to start up the 3d printer over here, the Ultimaker V2 over there, and I'm going to get it printing on the version of this that's segmented. So you can assemble it afterwards. So that in the final video, hopefully that I can do next week, um, I can show you the difference between printing something as a single part or printing it as multiple part to optimize how the printer works to get the best possible end result. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, sick pneumonia driven vlog and uh, I hope you still enjoy the channel. I think it's great that the channel just keeps on growing. Like I don't make a video for like a week and I look at the subscribers and they're still going up like at the same steady pace. I, I absolutely love it. It's like the best medicine ever. And uh, you guys know I love doing this as a hobby. I wouldn't have got to over 300 videos if I didn't enjoy doing this. Um, and I really do. And you guys, all your comments that you guys leave and everything, I mean, are really big pick me up. They're a really big motivator for me and they help a lot. I just wish I could get videos out faster, but between family life and working a full time job and, uh, you know, just the stress involved with everything else going on in my life, I can only make videos when I can make videos. So sometimes it'll be one a week, sometimes it'll be three a week. It just all depends on what I can do. And I'm glad that you guys stick around and, uh, and like to watch them when they come out. So, uh, anyways, time to wrap it up, guys. Uh, before, I keep wanting to bite this damn thing and swallow it. Don't bite the cough drop, Jerry. Don't. Um, so uh, I think it's just coming up. I got to go take some more of that awesome medicine. Some of it makes me feel better. And some of it like makes me cough and gag crap up, which is like, it's, it's hard to take something that makes you feel so horrible, but you know, it's going to fix you. Right. It's just, that's weird. Anyways, guys, I keep, I think I keep trying to wrap this up. I'm going to wrap it up for real this time. Till next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.